telling me, I can't believe I didn't do Avon first. I just, I can't believe it. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. So excited. That's amazing. Avon. That's amazing, That's Emily. So much. Yeah, absolutely. That is amazing. And that's always good stuff to hear too. When you, when you're, you, when you know, you've got great products and a great opportunity. Yeah. And then when others, you know, hear about that too, which is really amazing. Well guys, if it's okay with you, um, we're going to start out tonight with some recognition if that's okay, because there is a ton of recognition to do for you guys. Um, I've just really been blown away and I know I told Emily and Charlene when I got back, and you guys have done so good while I'm gone. I'm, I'm just so proud and excited, and I told the girls yesterday I got a little, uh, a little choked up a little bit because I just felt so lucky and so special that everyone is just working and growing their teams, and there's nothing better um, than knowing that, especially when you're gone, too, um, and to come back to things like that. So I want to say, first of all, thank you, and you guys are amazing. So just to throw that out there first, um, but I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to do something a little bit different tonight. Um, I've actually got some stuff to share with you, and what better way than a visual? So I am going to share with you guys what I've got. And I did do a little presentation because I did not want to miss out on anything. So first things first, let's do a little recognition in the title advancement area. Holy cow. Campaign five and six, actually mainly six was really amazing. We did have some title advancements. First of all, Barbara Franklin, she became a promoter with her very first new recruit um, in campaign six. And then also Shannon Sharp became a bronze ambassador in campaign six as well, along with Teresa Taylor. Now, Thanks. I know, right? Yay. That's amazing. Having a lot of people with those $1,000 um, in team sales is great. But my question to you guys is, with Shannon and Teresa earning that next title advancement, what is their bonus for Campaign 6? It depends on how many recruits they had. Um, their title advancement. $125. There you go. Yes. Yes. Each of them earned $125 in campaign six. And when they achieve it again in campaign seven, Avon's going to pay out another $125 through four campaigns. Remember, they do have a buffer, so they've got five campaigns to actually achieve that. Now, Emily, the really good question is for you because Shannon is actually in your downline. What is the bonus opportunity for you for her achieving that? 75 I think. <laughs> yeah, it's $75. Absolutely. Um, so that's an amazing thing. So it all is trickling up when it all trickles down. Um, so everyone's actually getting um, promotions with this. So congratulations to Shannon on that and Emily for the bonus money earned on that too as well. But I want to take a moment and talk about Teresa a little bit because this is cool. This is cool. And I know I've talked a lot about the Bahamas trip and you just need five people and you can go. That's all you need is five people. If you don't have a current title, you just need five people and we can get you to go. And Teresa is a prime example of that. She not only placed her first order in campaign six, she also became a bronze ambassador in campaign six, which gave her some that extra thousand points for the um, trip. And she also earned the trip in campaign six because she had five recruits and they all placed their orders at $150 or more. Thoughts on that? <laughs> is that not cool? That is absolutely amazing. So all in our first campaign. I mean, why didn't we make President's Club, right? I mean, come on, Teresa. But it's a really great opportunity. And knowing if you got the right stuff, you can really make your goals and your dreams come true. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that a little bit later because we all have new people coming on. And we want to make sure that we are doing some things and not overlooking some things. So we're going to talk about some of that stuff a little bit later, but big shout out to Barbara, Shannon, and Teresa. They did amazing. So congratulations to them. Let's also, I know. Yes, exactly. Let's not also forget about 
our points earners. Now we are going to be having some points update and some tickets update tomorrow. They have not done it yet today. Um, so when I send out the replay, I'll make sure I have the updated points on that too as well. But the top three in District 1385 is Charlene Poindexter, who's on, yay, with 825 points. She's getting close. Emily Stevens with 525 okay. and Chris Kaplan with 375. Up in our North Carolina area, taking the number one spot is Rhonda and Larry Voss. They have almost earned one spot with 1,100, I'm sorry, $2,175. Coming in second place is Renee Walson with an even 1,800 and Gail Austin with 750. So we have got a lot of players um, for our trip and I know points are gonna update tomorrow. So stay tuned. I know there's gonna be more happening with it, but keep in mind, you still have that tracker that I gave you. And just like Teresa, it can all happen in one campaign for you. We're also going to talk a little bit later about something that might help you with the opportunity since it does close in campaign nine that Avon's going to give you so that way maybe you can actually get a few more people on your team in the meantime. So with that said, um, I know, I don't know if most of you have heard this or not, but Avon is offering some bigger, better business workshops that are happening all over the country. We have one coming to our area um, in Atlanta on Saturday, April the 8th. It's at the Double Tree Atlanta um, Hotel. Now, what these are, they're being put on by our regional sales leader, which is Donna Miles, who is absolutely amazing. Um, and they're basically workshops for our leadership teams and also teaching sales. So they're doing these all around the country. They're from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. and it's on a Saturday. So we may need to do like a big carpool, whatever that might be, um, to get representatives down there. This just got announced. I don't know if it was last week, but I first saw it today. I didn't see anything last week on it. Um, so there's going to be more information to come, but go ahead and mark your calendars for April the 8th because um, it's going to be a great opportunity and also a great opportunity to take your teams too as well. Travel as a group. Um, anytime we can learn more things about our business, it's going to be a great opportunity. So with that said, speaking of learning things about our business, who on this call is going to Rep Fest? Anybody me, going to Rep Fest? Me, I think. You, you think? <laughs> I mean, I signed up, but then I realized I have a family reunion that same week, so I don't know. Oh, I have well, you are registered, Charlene. That's yeah, for sure. I know. That's for sure. I am registered. Yes, you are. I am registered. You are registered. Absolutely. We've got a lot of representatives registered, but it's not enough. Okay, so I just looked up numbers for this. We have got in 1378, we've got five representatives, one co-applicant and two guests going. I think they've got room for more, okay? In 1385, we got six representatives and three guests going. The total registration is 4,117 right now. 6,000 maxes it out, okay? So at the end of this month, that's the end of the $99 registration fee and I have a feeling that when it comes down to the, the, the cut time, we may be out of spots. Um, so once 6,000 are sold, it's my understanding that that is the capacity of the um, main stage area where we do a lot of the, re the introductions and different things like that. So, you know, if you haven't registered for it and you're thinking about it, go ahead and take the plunge. You also have a new report on Vibe where you can see who on your team is going. You may have someone that is in a completely different area than you and you did not know the register, you can actually look that up on Vibe now. So that is a brand new report for you guys. So that is super exciting. What do we have? Oh, we're going to get to that next. So before I do that, I kind of want to do a little bit more recognition on things because, you know, it's really amazing when you guys are working your businesses. And I took a look and I always want to make sure if I have access to your national stuff, I want to because it's more than what you just do in your home area. It's what you do everywhere. And Emily's video was really cool. She said she was a national recruiter. Absolutely. Because we don't have any boundaries. We want to be everywhere that we have somebody that's interested in earning money. So from March the 1st through yesterday for District 1378, Juanita O'Dell has had two people join her team and Wendy Wicklin has had one. Now these are self-generated um, appointments. They're nothing from Avon. There's no 
Alma in there at all. These are self-generated appointments. Now, where I get a little excited about, I looked over at 1385 and I got a list, so I'm very excited about this. So from March 1st through yesterday, Emily Stevens, you've had four new people join your team. Susie Burton's had three. Michelle Sarborough has had two. Judy LeClerc's had two. Chris Kaplan's had one. Charlene Poindexter's had one. And uh, Melissa Price has had one. So wow, that is amazing. So maybe I should be gone more often. Yeah? I'm, I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow, what a great and amazing um, week that you guys have definitely had. So give yourselves big pats on the back. It's absolutely amazing. So also next week is coming up is our March meetings. We're having two in each area. So Monday, I will be in Pickens um, at noon at the Mexican restaurant that's in Pickens. It's not a very big place. So if you're in Pickens, you know where the Mexican restaurant is. Um, and then that evening, I'll be in Greenville off of the Pelham Road um, Library. And we'll be partnering with another district, 1369. So it's going to be a ton of fun. And then in North Carolina, I will be at Hendersonville, same spot, same place, 1030 at Black Bear Coffee. And then that evening, 630, we're moving it to the Mooningham Library in downtown Forest City. So it's a much, much nicer place and it's free. So, um, and District 1378, I have an incentive to pay out for you because our regional sales leader challenged whoever could have the most appointments in a week and you guys were one of them. So I'm working out the details, but I heard on Facebook that you guys wanted cheesecake at your event. So I'm working on the details and how I can get that up there to you guys from the cheesecake factory. So be ready for that. Also, let's dive into anything that anybody's doing new in their business that maybe they wanted to share tonight. I started a YouTube channel for my Avon. Isn't it fun? I love YouTube. Love. It's fun. It is fun. And you can, see, yeah, fun. you can see who watches your stuff and they can make comments and they can subscribe to your page and like it. Absolutely. So I was venturing something else. And Emily, I'm going to pick on you a little bit too, because along with your YouTube channel that you started out, you actually did kind of like an introduction. You know, this is what you get when you join Avon that you shared on our Facebook page. That was amazing. And what a simple, easy way to send someone a video so they can see everything that they're getting before they start. Um, and it's also a great introduction to you too, as well as their mentor, which was really amazing. I thought that was great. So... And Charlene, you're not going to say this, but I'm going to pick on you. Charlene did her first video on Facebook when she was scratching off her tickets and just nailed it. I was super excited about Charlene. So that was a good step forward. So different things. Remember, just like tonight, we're trying a new time. You know, don't do the same thing to expect different results. You've got to try something different, okay? And it may work and it may not work. So um, just a few little sharings. So guys, let's dive in to some of the things that we wanted to cover tonight. So, you know, things are kind of like you have aha moments in your business all the time. And I was doing some reading and I had an aha moment before I left. And I thought, you know, this might actually be a great conversation piece on our next meeting. Um, and I'm kind of calling it level up and it's the importance of setting expectations. Um, and we really have a big role when it comes to expectations about what people will expect from our business and maybe even of us as a mentor, there's an expectation and maybe that might be unwritten a little bit. Um, but I read this great article and I kind of wanted to share it for you guys and just kind of put it in a step-by-step -step kind of form and kind of take the bullet points from it first. But I have to have a little comedy in what I do. So this is amazing. And Charlene, I kind of thought of you when I was, I was talking about it because it just made me laugh. So this is a little comic and the guy's going, how are you doing on your unspoken objectives? And the other guy's like, what? I'm referring to the goals that I have in my <laughs> mind that I've never mentioned out loud is basically what he's saying. And he's like, how are yours going? He's like, I'm totally nailing them. This guy has no clue what he's talking about, 
but he's just going along with it, right? <laughs> so we want to kind of make sure that we're kind of tuned into that other person a little bit and making sure we're, we're registering, you know, where they want to be with their business too. So we're not, you know, just just going and hoping they're along for the ride too. Um, but I love that. So always, always nice to have a little joke too. So the first step of this um, in this article, and it was really talking about network marketing, and there's a link at the end of this that you guys can actually look up, and I'll share that with you um, when I send this out. But the first rule was don't assume. You know, a lot of times we assume, and my latest aha is someone asked, you know, well, what's a campaign? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you know, we kind of assume things a little bit. So we want to make sure that we're taking things into consideration when someone is new. We have a lot of new people joining right now, and we want to make sure that we keep them on track to what they need to know. But at the same time, we need to make sure that they don't assume and know what what Avon's all about. We've got to make sure that we do that. So, you know, whether it's, you know, thinking, you know, what the person knows or, you know, what your recruit, um, what, I'm sorry, where was I at her? Assuming, okay, assuming is one of the biggest mistakes a man court can make is basically what this is saying, okay? So take that your recruit knows anything related to your business. You know, we don't know what they know. We've got to actually find that out as a mentor through questions, okay? So it can be something that they don't even know really how to take an order. They may not have to charge taxes. They might not even know what taxes are. So we can't really assume anything with them. We need to take them step by step with everything, okay? So that's first thing. So even a campaign, make sure that we explain that to them too. Also, the second thing is some do's and don'ts, okay? Maybe don't give, you know, the pie in the sky, the picture of earning $10,000 right away. We need to be very realistic with the expectations from our business and know that it does take time to develop a direct selling business, but once it is developed, it can flourish and your earnings can be unlimited, but it does take work, okay? Don't say things like it's, it sells itself. Well, no, it doesn't. You have to do your job and promote it, give out the books, follow up with people, okay? Also, another don't is focus on incentives. And I thought that this was kind of a cool point because we're at a great place in our business where incentives are everywhere. We have got tickets flying. We have got, you know, trips going. We've got bonus cash going. We need to focus on the value. And I put this in here, the value of Atlantis versus the extra 3% commission and bonus that they can make for the next however many years. Okay, that's going to be the longevity. The trip is here and now, but what about the longevity of their business? So we want to keep that into consideration. Yes, the Atlantis is the carrot, but take a look if you keep working at this and keep doing the same things where you could be in a year or six months from now. So some things that you do want to do is make sure that you're sharing the point of network marketing, okay? So the point of network marketing is for you to introduce someone to a culture that they enjoy, something that they want to stick around. They want to go talk to people. They want to even use it as leverage in a conversation. They get excited about it. So, you know, you really want to show that it's a lifestyle. It's not really just about selling this product. It's about using the products too in your everyday needs. And we all on this call, I know, have a great need for Avon and love it to death too. So also share the point of having a low overhead cost that can actually lead to residual income, okay? Having a low overhead, you're not storing anything. You're not having to purchase in advance. Every two weeks you place an order and the stuff comes. You have no overhead. So a low cost, high reward is with our business. So no inventory required. And sometimes we may forget about that whole focus on there too. So a lot of good do's and don'ts, but it really comes down to ex their expectation is, What's their why? It's always about the why. And we've got a lot of great training that's online um, that they can do, but really your job as a mentor is to connect with them, figure out their why, and how you can get them to achieve it, okay? Because if they achieve it, they're gonna stay. And for a lot of our representatives, maybe they don't know what their why is. Maybe they've never thought that long-term. They kind of think today. They don't think six months from now. And that's your job to help them with that, okay? So the expectations are based on the fundamental of our business and making sure that our team members are hitting their goals, which is their why. Okay. Knowing along the way that you're going to have some representatives get confused or frustrated. We've never had any of those, right? 
Never, never been there ourselves either. But you always want to make sure that you have it open for dialogue, okay, that you can talk. Know that they can send you a text message, a Facebook message, you know, that you're going to be there for them because that's really what their job is. So if I ask every single person for all of your new people or maybe anyone on your team, do you know why everyone sells Avon? What's in it for them? Not like we want to put anybody on the spot or anything, right? <laughs> Well, I don't see anybody jumping directly out of their seats. I know I have got representatives. I have, I don't know what their whys are. So that's also a reflection too, because we've got to make sure that we're connecting with our people. So knowing that why is really going to be a great one. So here's the point of the article. This is the $300 solution. Okay. So it is a magical benchmark and it has been proven in network marketing statistics. It's been proven with a successful downlines. It's been proven from persons going from company to company. It's going to be the $300 solution. And what this is, $300 is a realistic goal for someone to achieve every single month with a network marketing business, regardless of what business they choose. That's across the board. Okay. It has been proven when a network marketer just distributor or a representative, as we call them, earn $300 a month, they will stay. Think about that. If you know you can help Susie, Billy Bob, Angie, and Sue make $300 a month, they will stay with you. That could be very, very powerful. Okay. Our kickstart program helps you guys with that. Okay. So that $300 is something that they can consistently achieve every month. Knowing and setting the expectation it's not going to happen in their first month is going to be very, that you have to put out there, okay? So $300 is achievable. It is duplicatable, and $300 in a month will pay some bills. If not one big one, it can pay a couple of them, and that's where you're going to get the retention from, okay? When they see that and they're going to stay, and they make it between the first six and nine months, they're going to stay with the company and they're going to be bought into the company. Okay. So that's going to be a huge kind of, it was an aha moment for me because I never really focused on a certain amount a month, but that's enough money where they can see the difference in what they were making before Avon to now. Okay. Any thoughts on that? Good to have a real number in mind. You know, we'll say, we can make a thousand dollars in 90 days, but when you break it down, that's $300 a month. a month. Yeah, it absolutely is. So imagine that Avon, Avon was doing something behind that. What weren't they? I like that. So, so think about that, you know, that's what the kickstart program will do for you and think about what is my team making? So keep that golden nugget in your head too, as well. And also make sure, you know, Am I doing that too? You know, maybe make sure I'm at this milestone too as well. So here's how it goes, okay? This is how we can help our people, you know, make that $300 a month, okay? We've got to trust the process, okay? Avon has got tons of materials. They've got tons of great incentives that help our new people along, plus our current representatives. So even if I'm not a new representative and I've been with Avon a year, I can still take this $300 rule and work to achieve President's Club, okay? I can still take advantage of it. It just looks a little bit different, but Avon has the tools. We just need to make sure that we use them. You've got the tools of the Avon mentoring tools, the guide, so it will help you maybe start conversations, what I should say in a conversation, um, whether it's a new representative or even people that are down the road a little bit. So if you haven't checked out the mentor guide, not the emails, those are a little long, and a little weird, but check the mentoring guide. It's going to give you a lot of great start conversations with that too as well, okay? Also something that's there to help you is vibe. Check on your team. Okay, all of my LOA threes should be hitting the $200 mark. Three. Elaine. Do what? Illinois. You froze for a solid 20 seconds. <laughs> I think I was talking about trust the process. Use the mentor guide. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. I might have to re-record this. I don't know, guys. I might have to re-record it. I'm sorry. I don't know why my internet. So that might be a weird thing. I might have more people around me on the internet right now. Hang on real quick. Hang on. Hold on. Oh. 
Okay, I'll better. Just checking. I was seeing if Joe was on the internet. Um, but I was talking about using the mentor tools that you have, um, and that's in the guide. It'll help start conversations and kind of what to say. Hey, Cody. Um, and that way it can help you with some of those words to use maybe a little bit too. Also, vibe. Check out and see what your LOA three representatives, they're supposed to be having $200 orders. Check on them. See where they're at in the process too and be that mentor. Follow them along their journey. And the biggest thing, the Kickstart program, it's there. Your district sales manager even made you a great little calculator for them so they can just punch the numbers in and it's good to go. And I'll resend it out again to you guys. Um, so use the tools that are there for you. Don't recreate the wheel, okay? Use what's there. Also, be the master of fundamentals, okay? Teach them to do what you do. It's just the power of duplication. Think about it if you're trying to teach your child how to tie the shoes. You're going to show them correctly. So you're going to show your team correctly, too. That's part of it. So think about if you're trying to get someone to do the dishes. It's kind of the same thing. You're going to use those same words and techniques that you would try to get your husband to do something um, as you would your team. You know, you want to kind of mentor and guide them along. So that's the sell, show, share, and make sure you have the follow-up and duplication. If someone sees Charlene doing something, they're probably going to replicate it. Okay, that's the power of the influence we have. And the most important thing is remember that people just don't join the business. They join you. Okay, so you're the face, you're really the face of Avon of what they joined. So keep that in mind as well, okay? And I think that might be my last one, is it? Yes, and here's also where I got the article. Um, I'll include that in the email, so if you guys wanna read it um, later and kinda learn a little bit more about it, it was very, very interesting as far as, you know, why people do what they do and kinda some statistics with network marketing too as well, so. Thoughts on anything, guys? Lane, can you explain the 3% um, overwrite, the extra bonus? Yes. When does it start and how does it calculate things like that? Hi, Cody. Uh, <laughs> yes, that started in campaign four. So any new representative from campaign four, and this is, has no end date, Ever? that person, oh. you will earn an extra 3% every time they place a $50 order or more. That is on top of whatever your other commission percentage is. So if you are, let's say, a leader, I, I don't have my paper in front of me, I'm thinking at like 7%, you know, so you're going to make 10% off of that person. Oh, okay. But it has to be at least a $50 order. That was my question. It does have to be a $50 order. That's the fine okay. point on that one. Um, but now Excellent. campaign nine, they don't have to have a certain order size to earn. Right. Okay. Okay. So that's where that mentoring influencing, Hey, well make sure you place that order for you and your sister or you and you know, your neighbor. So, you know, if they're placing an order for themselves, they should always have somebody else they should be placing an order with. Um, you know, cause that little buddy system. So, but you know, that's going to be a great thing for our retention and for our team sizes coming in campaign nine. Um, just to follow up, um, everyone did get a book that had a removal there. My next set is going out next Monday for campaign eight. Um, so the other half of the people that didn't get a book that's been removed for the last year are going to get in campaign eight. So I'm hoping that will also help some reinstatements. I've had a lot of people reach out to me. Um, a lot of people I got reinstated, which was great too as well. Um, so that was kind of a big success in for you guys. What else is out there? That was a good question, Charlene, by the way. Well, I just wanted to know, and that goes on forever, right? As long as they're active? To infinity and beyond, Charlene. Awesome. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I just wanted some clarity on that because I no. see a little post yeah. on, my, on my earnings statement, so I was wondering how that was going to work. So, yes, okay. absolutely. Yeah. It, it, even if the Avon great. decides next year to end this incentive, you will always earn the extra 3% off of that new person. That's why <laughs> it's so great to be adding people right now because okay. you're getting that extra little bump in the commission. Yeah, that's going to help. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Any other questions, guys? Thoughts, maybe? And we're quiet. <laughs> <laughs> 
taking notes. So I'm going to go back and read the article. I liked it. Absolutely. I'm going to share it tomorrow because tomorrow I'm hoping we've got points updated and tickets updated because we need to get some recognition um, focused on that too. Um, but yeah, it was, it was very interesting. It's very interesting. It also talked about patterns of people. Um, so, and, and I love, I like people and I like patterns and I like, you know, I like that, that part of why people do the way that they do. So, you know, keep in mind, you know, do some little bit self-reflection, you know, is there anything that I could do better? Maybe I need to go back and read the mentor guide at start looking at some different questions that maybe I could ask, you know, get, get to know your teams. Avon's taking care of the training. You need to follow up and make sure you're doing the relationship in. That's going to be where you guys are going to succeed in. Okay. Who's ready for next week? Woo what night is the meeting again? Is it Monday night or Tuesday night? For South Carolina, it's Monday night. And okay. North Carolina, I'm with you guys on Tuesday. And okay. I have got some fun things. And get your teams there because everybody is leaving with the samples of Prime. And everyone is getting our brand new foundation. Awesome. I'm super excited about that. So make sure you get your teams there. Who does not want a full size foundation? I mean, really? Come on. So we're going to have some fun. I've got, I've made up some workshops today that I just came up with. So we're going to have some fun with it and do what Avon told us not to do. It'll be good. Oh, that's <laughs> great. <laughs> We're going to take it out more fun. So, all right, guys. Well, I want to give you your evening back. Go see your families. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Bye, Cody. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Have a good night. Bye. Good night.